There are about 80,000 Chinese characters in total, according to Xinhua News Agency in China. But this huge number actually doesn't matter at all, because the most frequently used characters are only about 2,500. These 2,500 characters can already cover about 90% of all the written materials in Chinese. A first grade elementary school kid in China can recognize 1,000 characters, and they can already understand 70 to 80 percent of all the written material. Now, don't be discouraged here. You may think even a six year old is better than you, but it's not like that. A six year old in China has already been in an all Chinese environment for six years, so you guys are not on the same starting line. But 1,000 characters can be a very good first step goal here, because only with this amount of characters stored in your mind can the world of all the interesting Chinese reading content opened up to you. According to the study of Dr. Stefan Rishen and proved experience of a lot of effective language learners, the large amount of interesting reading content are the most effective way to learn any language. The key here is comprehensible and interesting content. I myself can prove this because I use this method to learn English, although I didn't know this theory before. I just happen to be very interested in Western culture and therefore read a lot of interesting content in English. So why does it have to be 1000 characters? Because because knowing too little, you'll find any reading material being too hard, too uncomprehensible, therefore you'll find it too difficult and lose your interest. So you cannot gulp this 1000 characters in one bite. You need to break it down to smaller, chewable chunks so you can absorb them. That's why this e-learning course is being divided up into 10 courses. So you'll only learn 100 characters per course, and each course is further divided up into 10 sections. So there are only about 10 to 15 characters per section. Each section included characters and and words formed by these characters and sentences formed by these words. So to make sure everything you learn makes sense to you, these familiar characters will be repeated again and again in the further courses, in different example sentences, in different contexts. So with time, you'll find it natural to recognize them without much effort. But which characters to learn first? It really doesn't matter because do you remember that data? 1000 characters can cover about 80% of all the written material. Therefore, you can find just any interesting reading content and you're bet to bump into 80% of the most frequently used characters in it. In my e-course, I use Chinese TikTok videos as my source for interesting content because it's short and interesting and you can hear and see how Chinese use these characters in their daily life. A lot of Chinese get addicted to TikTok, myself included, so hopefully you'll like it too. You see a lot of example sentences in this e-course. They're just there to expose you to more usage of the words and phrases that appeared in these TikTok videos. Another thing to note is the difference of learning Chinese versus learning other languages. Chinese has a pictograph origin. Its characters are evolved from simple drawings of the real thing. For example, character Ren means human and it looks like a torso with two legs. Da means big and it looks like a person raised up his arms as if to describe to his friend how big something he's just seen is. And for abstract concepts, ancient Chinese either created more shapes to represent them or using existing characters as building blocks to form new characters. The characters that become building blocks sometimes change their shapes to better fit to their new role as components. For example, a character Ren, when changed into components, its shape changed into this. These combo characters can have a left and right structure, or up and down structure, or inside and outside structure. These building block characters are given the name of radicals if you care to know their academic name. They are usually characters that have very few strokes, so they can be better fit to be a building block. In my e-course, I not only teach you the character in the TikTok videos, but also the building block characters in it, because that's how we Chinese understand and learn characters in the beginning. For example, the character Hao means good. It has a left and right structure. Nü means female on its left. Nü is also an ancient way to say daughter, and it has zi on the right. One of the meaning of zi is son. In ancient China, we consider a family that has both son and daughter a very fortunate family. So the character good, Hao, has daughter on the left and son on the right. One more example is the character ni. It means you. It has a human component ren on the left and another character er on the right. Er is how the ancient Chinese say you. Just like in ancient English, people say you as thou, as in Romeo, where are thou? So you see, some ancient Chinese characters doesn't disappear as the language evolve. It just got combined into new characters. 
Now R can be further divided into an upper part. This part doesn't have a meaning. It is used purely as a component. And a lower part, xiao, it means small. So you see, for a character ni, a Chinese native can actually see three characters in it. And those component characters sometimes have a meaning related to the main character. But when a lot of foreigners first learn characters, they learn it as a whole. And so they find the Chinese characters are way too complex, too hard, and therefore got discouraged when learning it. So in my e-course, I won't skip these components. In this way, your progress will be a little slow at the beginning, but you'll definitely catch up so much faster later on. And in this way, each new character you learn will make much more sense to you. When using this course, you shouldn't aim to use what you learn in a conversation immediately, but should aim to being able to simply recognize them when you read about them somewhere. That's actually how a kid learn language. They won't try to use the words they heard immediately, they just try to understand what it means in the context. And only after they are exposed to this word and expression many many times and got very used to it, do they start to use it in a conversation. If you're trying to use it too early, you'll find it too unfamiliar and makes you think everything is harder than it really is. And it's better you focus your attention on example sentences. The first page is only used to introduce them individually in a general way, but a character can have multiple meanings. For example, rong can mean appearance or contain, etc. So it's useless trying to remember the meaning of each one character mechanically. However, when you put rong in the word rong ma, it makes the meaning more specific, and it only means appearance now. And in the word rong na, it only means contain. So again, always understand the character and the word in context. The goal of me making this course is giving you a smooth head start in Mandarin because whenever I learn a new language, I've been through the stage of going all over internet looking for resources for this language and this effort really tired me out. I just hope I can give you everything you need if you simply follow along this e-course step by step, you'll get to a level that it will be perfectly possible for you to picking up new things on your own as you're reading and watching new content in an all Chinese environment later on. Lastly, if you want to check out this e-course, click on the link in the description area. In the first half of the course, which is equal to 500 characters are free. After learning them, if you find this course effective, you can choose to buy the other half of the course, which is also equal to 500 characters for only $50. With these 1000 characters stored up in your knowledge reserve, you can understand about 70 to 80% of all the written material in Chinese. So you can learn the rest on your own through a large amount of interesting content. The door of Chinese culture will be wide open for you. The movie, the novels, and the news, the Chinese world does have a a lot of interesting content with its 5,000 year history and 14 billion population, a culture that has influenced most part of Asia. I promise you it's very worth it. I would also be very appreciative if you can give me your feedback after you try them out because I mean to keep improving and updating on this e-course continuously so to make them better and better for you guys.